Next year, going forward, we will be looking at a, a, a scheme to assist those of you who send children into private education. Systems. Welcome back to PNG Trends Burner. Prime Minister James Marabi has proposed an education subsidy scheme for private school education. Is this a good idea? Are there better ways to help private school parents? Prime Minister Marapia's recent announcement of a scheme to assist parents with children in private schools needs careful consideration. While the intention to support education is commendable, there are critical points to consider regarding the government's assistance to parents and the fairness of this education subsidy. Next year, going forward, we will be looking at a, a, a scheme to assist those of you who send children into private education systems. Am I right or not? To assist you, give you support. You pay your school fee that is a little bit higher than a public school. If government is giving free education to Papua New Guineans who are in the private sector, in the, in the public schools, I want to announce today we will look into a policy matrix and mix whether you get a tax, tax rebate or you get an education subsidy so that those of you sending children to private schools, you are at least supported also by your tax pay. Kina. Is the scheme necessary? The simple answer is, no. Here's why. Affordability, parents who choose private education for their children typically have the financial means to do so. These families may not need additional financial support from the government. Broader issues, it is suggested that the government should focus on broader issues that affect all citizens, such as reducing the overall cost of living. This could include measures like ensuring a consistent power supply, addressing law and water problems, and supporting businesses to lower living costs. Meeting school needs, support private schools with manpower, structural and curriculum development specific to each school's needs that will benefit all private school parents rather than select few. There is also a question of equity. Many believe that the proposed scheme would disproportionately benefit members of parliament and their families, as many MPs' children attend private schools. This raises concerns about whether the scheme is designed to benefit the general public or if it primarily serves the interests of the country's highest earners. Additionally, there is ambiguity about whether children of MPs attending private schools overseas would also benefit from this scheme, which could further skew the benefits towards a privileged few. Many Papua New Guineans know that providing subsidies or tax incentives for private school fees is not a strategic long-term policy. Instead, they advocate for substantial reforms that would have a lasting impact on the country's education system and overall quality of life. The challenge for the Marapi government is to implement policies that will be remembered positively in the future, rather than temporary solutions that may not address the root causes of the issues at hand. This means that any proposed scheme must undergo critical debate, analysis, and consultation with professionals from institutions such as the University of Goroka, the National Research Institute, and other professional bodies before making grand announcements like this. While supporting education is a noble goal, it is crucial to ensure that policies are equitable and address the broader needs of the population. The Marapi government has the opportunity to create lasting change by focusing on comprehensive reforms that benefit all citizens, rather than implementing schemes that may primarily serve the interests of a select few. The important question here is, what are the long-lasting impact of Marapi and Rosso government in the education sector? Will both men look back in 10 years' time and be proud of anything they've established in the education sector? One thing for sure is that the private education scheme for parents will not be there for others to enjoy in the future. Simply, it is not sustainable. If you like this video, you'll also love the videos in the playlist here. Do not forget to hit the round button in the middle, subscribe, and join the PNG Trends Burner community on YouTube for trending topics in Papua New Guinea.